<laughs> so have you guys had the chance to look outside and see what's going on with the fans? You know what, I think we're all just sort of in awe in the same way. Like on the one hand, it's, it's intimidating because we're just like, this is new for all of us. But on the same token, uh, our fans are so supportive. Like they're out there and they're screaming, so it's intimidating, but they're screaming love and support. And so it's, it's kind of amazing. Love! <laughs> <laughs> they're literally screaming love. 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 <laughs> for each of you, what's the craziest thing a fan has done? Uh, I got past a baby once. Yeah, uh, yeah, a woman who was like a twi mom uh, handed me a child and uh, asked me if I could bring my bring the child around to my cast members and um, have everyone say hello. What, like to sign? Yeah, I, I, just to say hello. <laughs> I look out of the car and Nikki's saying, Kristen, can you just look over here for a second? Why are you holding that child? <laughs> like, she needs a picture. <laughs> Rob, ha I'm sure Rob has yeah, many yeah, stories yeah, for you. I had a weird thing the other day where... Uh, there were these four girls in Chicago, I think. They'd all uh, one of these signing things, and they they'd all scratch their necks like that, like until it bled. When they came up can to, uh, oh, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> when when uh, so when they came up to the signing thing, they all had these bleeding scabs. I feel like this is a good opportunity fresh, for me to tell you. Bleeding. Um, Kristen and I had quite a few little girls come up to us and let us know that they they will be marrying you, but their mom says they need to wait till they're 21. Yeah, so you know. See these mothers, these mothers always getting in the way. Um, <laughs> so the movie hasn't even come out yet. Do you guys feel the pressure from the fans? Hopefully, you know, it's like it's like when we have to do these these Q and A's and things. Uh, People just keep screaming the whole time. So hopefully, people will just scream the whole way through the movie, and, and like they won't even they won't even notice. But uh, yeah, no, it is it, it does it does make it very nerve wracking. Anything to do with hype is, uh, you know, when especially when it's no one's controlling it, and, and every and it kind of feeds itself as well. More the more hype there is, the more other people hype it and question it and stuff. So it's quite it's quite frightening. Let's go back to the actual making of the film. It was cold and wet and rainy, I understand. We had to be prepared for every scene on the schedule, basically, because we never knew what we were going to have to do in, in, in days. Um, you know. Kristen had it the worst. I mean, she had to prepare for, like, yeah, like, literally five different days, which involves, like, 10 or 12 scenes and I, I don't know how many lines or how much dialogue uh, because at any given moment like the clouds could just go over the sun and then everyone's sort of freezing thinking should we make the move should we just wait should we just stick it out I don't I mean I don't know how that affected the schedule in the long term I don't know if we added on days I wasn't I wasn't really all there I was honestly considering antidepressants when I left Portland because I didn't see, see the sun and I grew up in Southern California so how did the weather affect your hair, though? That must have been tough. Rob's hair. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> Rob's hair is impervious to anything. It's, it's, it's like, bulletproof. It's like he a, does it's more like to duck. it than we it's like do. A duck. Um, Kristen, you turned 18 while making the film, right? How did that change your work days? Uh, I worked a 20-hour day on my birthday. That was a good birthday present. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's so much better. I, I, I go so nuts having to go in and out of school and working it's so hard to get your mind around both um, and then you're also not there for a lot of like off-camera stuff in, in the scenes with the other actors they're acting to little blobs on the wall right and I mean, ugh, a lot of times I felt like I wasn't even in a scene that I was in so <laughs> I, I I love it it's great I heard you guys had an interesting audition do you want to tell me about that you know, the audition was, uh, it was nice because he was literally the last guy to come in and I was just thinking you know, they asked me what I thought, and I was just thinking, oh, okay, I really don't have any thoughts, and that is the worst. I was so ready to just be like, yo, I'm going to be terrible in this movie unless you find somebody that can, you know. So we were, I was very excited. Mm -hmm. What was it about him? What did he have that was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, <laughs> he didn't look like he was just totally preoccupied with looking good. Uh, he looked, uh, <laughs> he looked really bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's sort of also like incapable of lying, which sometimes works to his advantage and sometimes not at all. But in that when case, it, it work? did. Um, buddy? What? what? Yeah, what? I don't know My what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Why? Well, I mean, who, who wants to watch an actor lie on screen? Come on, I could. What are you saying? 
Okay, now you're making me completely mad. <laughs> 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 now we've just heard all four books have been commissioned. Will each of you come back to reprise your roles? If, if, if um, yeah, I mean, if they move, move them quickly, because I mean, I've got um, me and Rochelle kind of oh. age. Kind, oh, and, and me. <laughs> I always forget you're one of the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, yeah, we, none of us can age. So unless they shoot all three of them in like, what well, for me in a, a year. <laughs> <laughs>